We were able to figure out uh, how the muscles in this animal relate to Tyrannosaurus rex. Well, in our study, we uh, spent 15 years testing the bite forces of living crocodiles, and from that, we were able to figure out how their musculature contributes to their incredible bite forces. And because crocodilians are closely related to dinosaurs, we were able to carry the model that uh, Paul Genek, my former graduate student here at Florida State, had developed uh, over to Tyrannosaurus rex and basically bring this animal to life. The teeth arranged the way they, they are. Uh, this, this animal could just literally cut through flesh and bone with so much tooth pressure that it would literally explode some of the bones. It could introduce cracks. The working end of T-Rex is obviously the mouth. Uh, this animal had the largest teeth of any dinosaur. The teeth were up to seven inches long. Uh, they were serrated so they could not only uh, puncture bones, but they could also cut through bones and flesh. We spent 15 years figuring out how crocodilians work. We tested the bite forces of every species of crocodile. Along the way we got the world record bite force for a living animal and that was a saltwater crocodile at 3,700 pounds. And we basically uh, used that model to uh, bring T-Rex to life so to speak. T-Rex was biting once again after 65 million years. And what we found is that this animal could generate bite forces of 8,000 pounds. That's equivalent to setting three small cars on the jaws of this animal. You can imagine the, the, the forces involved there. But more importantly, those, uh, those incredible teeth uh, were, were, were going to convey that force uh, to whatever they're biting into and uh, in, in the form of pressure. So the, the force uh, relative to the contact area of the teeth is the tooth pressure, and that's what really matters. That determines whether they could bite through hide or bones or, and, and whatnot. And basically what we discovered is T-Rex could pretty much cut through just about anything in its realm. Simply because T-Rex generates so much attention uh, and, and dinosaurs are our children's first introduction to science, I, I, I'd like to think one of the big benefits of this study is that it's going to introduce the scientific method to the masses of, uh, and, and children will see how the scientific method works and how, uh, how science allows us to uh, answer intractable questions.